But you don't hear me though. Brothers and sisters. But you don't hear me though. Our people have a very serious But you don't hear me though. Brothers and sisters. But you don't hear me though. Oh, I say it, I say it again. Over the weekend, Republican mayoral hopeful Cal Swain had some not so kind words for Titans quarterback Ryan Tannehill that I thought were misplaced, inaccurate, and typical Republican fodder. So I thought I'd give a little retort to her comments and to black Republicans in general on today's edition of. But you don't hear me though. The problem I have with uh, Carol Swain and many other black Republicans is that they have to do this remix on history and general knowledge of issues that affect our community and water them down so that they fit inside the bubble of Republican Party conformity. If they don't water down the history or they don't water down the topics, then they won't fit in. So they have to be sleight of hand, deceitful. Some of them just downright lie when retelling the story of race in our country. That's one of my main issues with the Republican Party and why I refuse to join, although I agree with them in principle on four major Republican issues. I I want a strong military. I want a sound, responsible economy. I am not against the death penalty. Some people that do heinous crimes deserve the maximum penalty. And I'm not against gun ownership. Although I want better control and implementation on that as well, I'm not against that. So you see, we do have some common ground. But Carol Swain, you're in no position to tell Ryan Tannehill that he should educate himself on the history of race in our country. He can easily see the ugly times that were and how brutal they were to black folks by looking into any encyclopedia, Wikipedia, or any other media. There were laws written 100, 150 years ago that still permeate through the black community and affects black folks till this day because those laws stop generational wealth they stop generational voting they stop generational housing choices those racist systems that were exacted on your grandfather and great grandfather slowed you down from having certain inalienable gifts today you can't tell us that there's no racism today because the entire time that you are telling us your stories miss swain nikki haley senator tim scott about your parents and their grandparents encounters with racism, you're actually describing the systemic racism that folks like Tannehill knows exist. Maybe not as harsh as those days, but nonetheless, it exists. So if it did exist, as you say in your stories, and you say that now it doesn't exist, what is the exact date that racism ended in our country? I'll wait. Look, America has a rich history. It's a story of struggle and triumphs, hardships, victories, And it's a story about race. You can't take the race out because it makes your friends uncomfortable or because the big Republican donors don't like it. And the same for you, Democrats. Stop using the history of our people to create fear and anger in our community. We have enough fear and anger in our community without you stoking the flame. I say this a lot. I'll say it now. Both parties suck. If you ask me, one is no better than the other one. Democrats have a wicked history with us from Jim Crow to slavery. And Republicans saved the union and a byproduct of that was ending slavery. But they went right back home and abandoned us to lynchings and mobs so we can sit here and point the fingers all around. But that'll get us nowhere. Miss Swain, Tannehill is on point. Stop telling him he needs to educate himself. He knows the history. The problem is, is that many people like yourself don't like the history. Doesn't mean that he should stop saying it. I'll close with this. What's ironic to me is the position America finds itself in today. The issues of injustice and social equality is at the forefront and is twisting and turning America into whatever it is that she's going to become next in her constant evolution. But what I say is this, we can't become America's pincushion again and have our plight used without making sure we come out better for it on the other side. And since both parties have used us at some point in time in history, I say we must stay vigilant and make sure we get out of this time everything that we can because both parties are what's dearly. But you don't hear me though. But you don't hear me though.